What is up guys, this is Nick. We are back on the witch walkthrough. And we need to talk to guard near the entrance to Bree Tree Ruins. I ran here just so you guys didn't have to watch that. So let's get into this. Ah, are you the adventurer that the archaeologist was talking about? Hmm, can't say you look that different from the other people that have disappeared in there. Ooh, Awakening Bree Tree Ruins. I wouldn't have the slightest clue what's in there. Don't blame me for whatever you see in there. If you're going to blame someone, it should be the archaeologist. Uh, you can enter the cave now. I have no idea what's in there. I hope you come back in one piece. Alright. Go inside Bree Tree Cave and investigate the ruins. Let me get my get my staff out. Some of these times I don't have my staff out. Guess we'll auto. I guess we'll auto path because got a little bit of a run in here. All right, so I'm gonna pop one of these. I accidentally got it on this character instead of my main one, so we're gonna pop one of those. As the the auto pathing has failed me. You know what? I think I can open one of these. So let's pop this open. I think I have a. Uh, I don't have the specific key. I have a key, but it's not. I guess it's not a universal key. Hello? How? That thing had. Holy crap, that thing had a lot of health. Was not. Not prepared for that. Why is all of this already, like, down? Did I. Is it because I already beat this before on another character? That's really weird. Okay. Artifact at the foot of Be er, Bree Tree. We just gotta talk to you, good buddy. Yes. Uh, so this is what people mean when they say there's no place like home. I don't want to leave. Well, let's claim that and that. Complete that. Complete that. A noisy farm. What? You don't feel at home? Humans are so picky. You'd be fine if you just merge with me like others have. It sounds perfect, right? Still no? Okay, fine. Let's stay where you feel comfortable. How about a farm? There's that farm over there to the south. Alright, so I need to talk to Norma Light at the uh, Northern Wheat Plantation to grab ourselves two inventory slot expansions. Got all this different stuff I need to at least get to the market. Um, game? Alright. I was really weird. I was like, expect i was like oh it'll just auto path me back out but those things like rebuilt themselves not all of them just one of them so weird because that was a waste of the experience i thought i'd have to fight stuff in here oh good yeah! yes! ah! chain lightning actually works really well for flying things there's not too much flying things the harpies the bats. That's about it. Alright, now can you auto path for me? Okay, I think I I think we're good. I think we're good. So, do a little bit of inventory management here. We need to pick up some more potions. <laughs> So, I have the medium health equipped, but we do have large ones. Or no, wait, we have small and beginner. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely need to hit up um, a potion giver, potion seller. Let's see. I have three contribution points. Alright, let's get back to connecting the map. I think up here is where I need to connect first. Oh, actually, doesn't automatically connect over here. Interesting. Okay. Where were we then? Um, there we go. Invest to there. Is this a two or a one? It's a three invest. Okay. Can't do that. All right, normal light. Welcome. Are you a traveler? Or perhaps you're looking for work. 
Uh, harvest season is so busy, I can't take my eyes off of anything for a second. If I may request something of you, could you deliver that box over to Dia's farm? It contains the seeds they need for next year. It's an urgent delivery, so please head there straight away. Dias will probably be busy, too busy painting, but you can bring it to Enzo instead. You can depend on him to take care of it. Everyone is going okay, so I think there is... Yeah, general goods. <laughs> My cute baby. Okay. So I'm going to sell these. Sell that. And that. All of this different stuff. Actually worth a fair amount, up to 1.6 mil. I'm gonna sell all of my potions, small, medium. I'm just gonna get large ones, cause it just makes more sense. Okay, so health potions large. Let me get a hundred of those. Actually, let me get another. Eh, let's get 200 more. Wow, that filled up my okay. That filled up my inventory real quick. Is there a? I doubt there's a marketplace person here. I'm like 99%. I'm 99% sure there is not. I know I would make more by selling it on the open market, but I'm just gonna sell it here to get it out of my inventory. Okay, so now I need to sell. Let me sell like a hundred of these. And then. See if I can get like 145. Let's see, can I get the 55 I want? Okay, we're overweight just a little bit. But should be able to get under. Let's see here. Can I just drop this? Move. Okay, I just need a storage. Let me auto. Let me find the closest storage. <laughs> is that where the closest marketplace director is? Yeah, let's just go to that real quick. So I guess it would have been better just go to the marketplace director anyway, but that's fine. I can get some stuff out of my inventory, get my money out of my inventory. I believe money weighs a decent amount inventory wise so get that out of there should have some rewards to claim i'll leave the medea seal in there i've been putting those on my main character so i'll leave that in there for now we need to go to my ring menu move there we go There we go. So we got those in there now. I should probably... Actually, I want to change this. I want this here. And this here. Because on my main account, over to right on the D-pad is... Um, is my large heel. And the left on the D-pad is my light heel. Not too big of a deal. Nothing that really matters, but I might as well set it up like that. We run so slow. We don't have the massive weight expansion that I have on my main character. Alright, Heli Bellucci. Central is big, Market. A store yeah I've been storing my food so let me store that store that store the beer does this stuff what does this stuff weigh oops no thought the gold bars might weigh a little bit but they do not I'm gonna store the XP potions and store the money to oh, what crap let's just store 1.2 mil there we go. Now, what is my inventory looking like? It's still pretty topped up, but uh, 
hoping I'll use up enough stuff that we shall be good. Okay, let's go ahead and take on the quest. <laughs> Seed delivery. Where is this? Uh, just north of the northern. I thought it was supposed to take. I thought it was supposed to go to the Diaz farm. But it looks like we're just going to the very tippy top of. The Diaz farm is on the map. Weird. Here's the Diaz farm right here. So I wonder why it's taking me up there. Unless I'm supposed to pick up the seeds first. That would make sense. If I had to talk, if I had to pick up the seeds first, I would completely understand that. But that's not what the game said. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. See if we're picking up the seeds or if this is actually where I'm supposed to deliver them. Nope, here we go. Oh boy, we get to walk this down to Diaz Farm. I guess I'll control, try to take <laughs> try to take some shortcuts here. This is a very interesting game decision. <laughs> To make you carry this thing like I don't know, this is a little ways it's a little ways down the road. Take those just mini steps oh we're making up ground, we're passing we're passing people, we're moving faster than the bigger guys. These have to be my least favorite things in this game. There's like four of them. There's the thing where you're fighting the orcs and you carry some food around or you carry something around. The ones where you have to carry and just drop it, but it's like they put it just far enough away that it's annoying. This is by far the farthest one I've encountered, I think. Which is good, I guess. I swear if I have to get two, I'm going to be so annoyed. All right, just just one, please. All right, Enzo. I have some seeds for you. What's inside the bundle? Is this for me? Yes, it is. Oh, Lady Light sent you. You can leave the box over there. You must be a traveler by the looks of you. What is your business in a farm like this? Uh, no farmer will take a liking to you this time of year. I'm afraid the villagers will be busy harvesting crops so they can survive through the winter. Just don't go in expecting much hospitality to start. Could you tell the fa the farm owner Leor Leo Leordo Diaz that we have received the seeds sent by Lady Light? He is over there, just casually painting pictures. Consult with me. Oh right, Leodro. Looks like a sham. Shush. Um, you'll have to wait because we're overbooked with orders for portraits. Ah ha! So you've brought the seeds sent by Lady Light. I understand Enzo must have dealt with it properly. Uh, you must be interested in paintings too. An artist recognizes an artist. My mission is to find beauty seldom noticed by others and transfer such beauty onto a canvas so that it can be shared with everyone. I mainly paint in portraits for money, but my heart yearns to eschew materialism for simply capturing the raw beauty of Calfion and Serendia. I'm worried about the unsettling rumors coming Keplin. Uh, which is known for having beautiful scenery. They say the monsters have been appearing and that even the villagers are turned into turning into monsters. It's hard to believe these rumors. I'd like to go and take a look for it myself, but as you can see, I'm very busy. Can you go check and see what's actually happening in Keplin? You'll find someone in, by the name of Clem Kessery in Keplin. I've done a number of portraits for the Kessery family before. He will be very welcoming if you tell him I sent you. All right, to Keplin we go. So where is Keplin? It's a decent chunk south. I still can't believe that this doesn't connect to Keplin. It's just a very odd thing to me. Because it just looks like it should connect. Like, either this should connect here. Like, Gluttony Cave just looks like it should connect to something. But I assume Gluttony Cave connects to what's over here. Which is fine, but... It's just odd. 
Just, just an odd little thing. I really need a, just a just a wee bit. If I could have 200, 200, it'd be good. I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't have enough to buy anything. So the next time an outfit comes that I really want, I might have to buy pearls anyway. So we're gonna buy. Wait, this is the weight on person, right? I think it's not the inv. It's not like uh. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's weight. I'm gonna pick this up. Was that what I wanted? Alright, hold on. Let me stop moving. Stop. So I can pop this. Pop that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's good. We picked up just a little bit more room. Now we can actually have some items to go with our potions. I just wanted to pick up those potions. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna go over 200. I'm just gonna be you know, roughly close-ish. Not too close, but close-ish to 200. 200 is plenty. Should get me through a large number of quests. Let's see, how far away is this? little bit farther let's see let's see what the upcoming attendance rewards are what is this a lynch family treasury the lynch family's treasure were stolen by imps before lynch farm was ruined some treasure hunters specifically look for lynch family treasures Ooh, interesting oh nice we got grade two uh weapon and armor reform stones beautiful i actually was able to complete on the central market i finally found some um it auto purchased which is nice but, let's see. I was able to pick up four of these weapon reforms. So, call the Black Spirit to perform an upgrade. Grade 1 reform storms can't be used to upgrade items to the ultimate level. One restore stone will be used up per attempt. Uh, if upgrade is uh, successful, the item will become blue or yellow grade. And the item's effect will improve. I'm hoping that means it doesn't destroy it. But yeah, I've got all these going on the marketplace. Just waiting for someone to help me out by listing them. I'm sure eventually one day I'll get it. But I was surprised when I got on and there were four of those. Because I haven't seen those weapon great or weapon reform stones at all on the central market anytime I've been looking. Okay, anti-black crystal organization, Clam Cessory. Uh, dignity and honor are gone in Keplin. All that's left is suffering from the hard labor and pollution. Ah, the farmer who paints. I know. I haven't seen him in forever. As for Keplin, I say my breath. I wouldn't even know where to start. Keplin has been plagued by a disease known as, as petrification. Those who contract the disease uh, turn into hideous creatures whose bodies look like they've made to, they're made of stone. At first, I thought the creatures were some kind of monster that lived in the mine itself. I was horrified to find that they out they were once the miners who toiled away to provide for their families and for Keplin. Keplin was well known for our mines and quarries before all of this happened. The disease started just after we discovered black crystals in the mine. Interesting coincidence, to say the least. If you're curious, it would be better for you to see for yourself. Even now, right beneath our feet, some poor wretch is coming into contact with the black crystals and probably painfully changing into a stone monstrosity. Go talk to a guy they call Tustin. He's responsible for managing the mine workers. All right. I don't know what that noise is, but that is loud. Um, need to. We need to um, probably uh, check out my skills. I haven't checked them out in a while. Okay. Monster labor overlord or overseer. Um, humans pushed us here. We can't go back. We must work. Okay, what's happening? Can't you see for yourself? One second they're mining for ore, the next they're trying to whack my bloody head off. We were safe until just recently. I think someone is behind the spread of the disease. We must settle this before more lives are lost. Okay, so we need to defeat petrified miners. Is this it? I don't think I've done this quest before, but let's take a look at my skills real quick. Definitely want to pick up a better magic, the better magic arrows. That 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 has to be picked up. Um, 
awesome. Oh my gosh, we can get the upgraded chain, lightning. Beautiful. I'm going to pick up the healing aura level 4 as well. Mind training, and there we go. Only, only have to kill 10 miners. I think this is a different story than I had before, which is nice. You guys give good experience. Mediocre. Can't kill as many of these guys as I thought I'd be able to. Alright, let's go back. Does that mean we're going to get to fight a petrified miner boss? That'd be cool. Alright, my dude, Tustin. The underground mines aren't safe anymore, but I'll be fine. The petrification is no match for me. The guy from the Kepler Quarry, he spread the disease. That's where the petrifying disease first appeared. Go to the North Kepler Mine is riddled with the disease. The nurse, Furia, uh, should still be there. She can also update you on the current severity of the outbreak. Okay, confirm the latest situation regarding the petrifications. I'm on meeting with Furia of the Kepler Quarry. That noise stopped. I don't know what that was, but it stopped. What was that? Uh, it's just the, that's just the jeweler. Keplin was like one of those first areas where it was like, oh, you know, Keplin is the first kind of big, it was like the first big city you've seen in a while. Cause it's been a while since you were in like, you haven't been to Calfian yet. The last big city you were in was like Heidel, because you went through all of this. Glish doesn't really count. It looks like it's a big main city, but it's not really a main city. It's just marked as so for map purposes to make it look, because that's not a big city. Glish is like small. Oh, I remember this. Never mind. I guess that killing of the 10 enemies was just so like randomly stupid that it's so forgettable because I forgot about it but I remember like this area over here I believe all right Furia are you sick for now it seems nothing can be done to cure those afflicted by the disease all we can do is slow its progress and administer small amounts of medicine to our patients before they return to work again in the mine ultimately we are just prolonging their pain and suffering how about you stop standing there and do something helpful? Go catch some stone crabs and rock spiders. We don't need them alive. I just need stone crab foam and rock spider liquid. How many times do I have to tell you? There is no cure for petrification. I need to take medicine to subside the pain. Go quickly. The patients are waiting. Alright, so we need to kill... Um, what is that? 15 stone crab... Or we need 15 stone crab foam and 5 rock spider liquid. Hopefully they all give it to me. Half petrified miner. A lot of stone crabs, not a whole lot of other stuff. There's a bunch of golem spiders. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Here are our rock spiders. Hadn't seen many of those. Probably shouldn't have jumped down here. Let's go back up. Lots of spiders up here. Uh, stone crabs aren't dropping stuff every time. Hello, stone crabs. Can you help, please? Hello, buddy. I really want to mess with you, but you know you're you're coming at me. You gotta die. There we go. All right, let's go back and turn this in. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, the 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 large potions. Yeah, they just do too much recovery. I mean, look at that. It's like 250. Really good.
those crabs like even touch me? I wish in some of these areas they had like guards. Um, I'll like uh, conquer online where they got like guards in the cities and stuff like that. So if enemies walk in or you kite them back, they just kind of get wiped. Uh, either commit to helping us or it would be best if you left. I'm just saying this is for your sake. You will need something to protect your faith. Overwhelming strength. What a cheeky young lady. I don't like her. This disease is spreading so everywhere, but that's fine. We gotta make it worth our while. These delicious black crystals are everywhere. Think about it. We get the crystals, get all their power, and rule over all mankind. Brilliant, right? I'm getting goosebumps. Wait, I see them. Those huge black crystals. All that power is just sitting there. What are you waiting for? Hop on it. Oh, hold on. Come back. Come back, buddy. Come back, buddy. Come back. What's that thing you wanted to check? Oh, best weapons and armor. Alright, so we need to investigate the crystals that has surged up from the ground and investigate the swaying black crystal pillar. go uh, taking possession of this was the very purpose of Calfion's attack on Keplin oh, this is a node one thank you connect those together invest and connect that okay go to so now we need to investigate the swing crystal pillar which is the other side all right objective complete let's talk to the black spirit huh what is this this tastes funny how did such a huge black crystal go bad petrifications must have done something to spoil it more black spirit gifts complete that complete that okay if you examine the workers who are completely petrified you might find some clues try looking through their belongings no one would care they're not even human anymore are they okay you just you just couldn't let me finish reading the quest i dude couldn't just let me couldn't let me finish all right so accept that so we need to kill eight miners 25 golems and Eight junk piles. Yeah! Yep. Alright, drop down. Yeah. Should be, yeah, this golem right here. Another golem. Junk piles. He's actually... yeah, okay. I didn't know if that was still a junk pile that I could destroy. Destroy that golem. There's not that many golems around here. They're kind of like spread out all over the place. Here we go. I found the mother load of golems. Need to find some miners as well. There we go. That's all the junk done. There's 21 out of 25. Then we need to find some more petrified miners which is fine we'll get the golems out of the way which will be right here let's have this take me back because i think i think the miners are just at the beginning there's plenty of miner or well not plenty but there's a handful of miners i'm not seeing any though on my mini map Here we go, over here. I'm going to assume they're up top here. If I can get up. Uh. 
take out, chain them together. One more is all we need. And there you are. Oh, no, one more. There we go. Alright, I think this is a safe spot right here. Turn this quest in. Oh, what's that piece of paper? There's a drawing on it. Perhaps it's a token that can be exchanged for bread or maybe some food. Tris Marigold. Let's look around here for someone that would know about this. Okay. So. Oops. Did not take the quest. Hello? There we go. Look at uh, the back of this piece of paper. It has a location marked on it like you'd find on a map. Seems like it's close by. Don't you think we can find out more if we go there? All right. So I think I'm going to call it here for this episode. In the next one, I'll let it auto path and take me back to Oz's house. Um, just so that you guys don't have to watch that. But uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Black Desert Online. Peace.